approaching satellite C3, initiating docking procedures. It's going too fast, going too fast, and here we, here we go, here we go. Oh, there we go. Hello, wonderful person. This is Anton, and today we're taking a look at this really, really cool indie game known as the Satellite Repairman. Can you guess what you're going to be doing in this game? That's right, you're going to be repairing satellites. In this video, I'm going to tell you why this game is actually really, really cool and why you may consider buying this indie game and what it's all about, essentially. Let's play this a little bit more and you'll discover what this is all about. Welcome to What The Math. Now, what exactly is the Satellite Repairman? Well, it will be very difficult to explain. I think you just have to watch. So basically, you're playing as this robot guy that is going to be um, using a variety of various factories and buildings um, to construct a base on a planet that you see right here. So this circle right in the middle, that's the planet where you are. In this case, it's actually Earth. The planets will vary depending on the mission. Sometimes it will be Moon, sometimes it will be some other planet. And they will always have different elements um, to them. So uh, maybe the gravity will be too low or too high. Or maybe you will be experiencing a lot of um, meteorite strikes that will actually destroy your base a lot quicker. Now, as you can see, there's a countdown on top. And what I'm doing here or what I'm waiting for is a missile launch from the enemy on another planet that is going to be trying to attack us. At some point, you'll be able to retaliate with your own missiles. But until that level, you just have to try to defend your base as much as you can. What I'm collecting right now are the construction modules that I'm going to be using. Well, let's actually just build them up here. Each of them will do different things for us. And um, most of them are very, very, very important. So I need to actually place a communication tower somewhere right around here, if I can. I can't. How about this? How about here? There we go. And we're also going to build another um, defense base, which is essentially a big uh, missile silo that will kind of protect us from some of the enemy missiles that will be coming here in 28 seconds. I also am lacking satellites. So let's build a satellite. And we're going to actually not just build a satellite, but we need to then build some modules for it so that it's actually a lot more effective. And we're also going to um, place it. We're going to actually deploy the satellite manually. Now in about nine seconds, you'll see missiles coming toward us. And if we're lucky, some of our own def uh, defense missiles will actually strike back and destroy the enemy missiles. What I'm collecting here is actually food. This isn't necessary for me to replenish my life. Um, so, in a nutshell, this game is all about resource management, but really, really intense, really fast-paced resource management that gets a lot more uh, difficult with the levels. There you go. Mission failed. I failed this mission without even realizing. Apparently, someone uh, destroyed my headquarters without even me realizing because I was talking too much and did not even see it coming. Anyway, so let's do this again. We're going to go to the yard and build up a base and also build up a satellite. And so here we go. We have all the necessary equipment um, ready for our first satellite. We're going to go to an altitude of about maybe 1500 um, feet or meters. I'm not really sure what the measurement here is. And we're going to position our satellite right here. There we go, our first satellite ready. We're now are going to dock to it and install other modules. And our first defensive system is ready. You can see C1 is orbiting around Earth and there's uh, missiles that are going to be protecting our, our planet in about uh, 27 seconds when the enemy missiles get here. All right, so that's good. We can now also recharge or refuel ourselves going um, to our headquarters and start producing things on the other side as well because we need to first protect the headquarters. The reason I failed the last mission is because a missile destroyed my headquarters in one shot. So let's actually do two things. One is we're going to place another satellite. And two is we're going to start building up... Oh, here they, here they come. We're so going to start building up the... Um, defense system around our base so maybe somewhere right around here we're going to place our second satellite all right here we go and that's done so now let's go and construct some uh defensive systems so that we can actually start protecting this in a lot more efficient way so here comes the first missile actually let's go check it out let's go see what happens so We've created a defense system. Oh, here they come. Here they come. And watch that. Hopefully, it will get intercepted. Oh, 
boom. That was beautiful. That was uh, our defensive missile intercepting the enemy missile. This is actually where it came from. So that's the game in a nutshell. Now, there's not just missiles here. There's actually a lot of other threats. Although I've only seen asteroids and missiles so far. I'm sure there's more somewhere else. Because um, I haven't really advanced in this game that far yet. And the missile just struck uh, my planet on the other side. Um, but uh, there's a lot of really cool elements to this game. And it does get a lot more challenging as you progress. And it does get a lot more interesting as well. Anyway, I'm going to construct some more buildings and place them on the other side. There's also the research center that I haven't really um, used yet in this mission. But it's on the left side where it says R. And uh, research center allows you to do basically research other elements, other satellites, other weapons, other defensive systems and so on. Um, I haven't really done much research in this mission, mostly because it's so fast-paced, but usually you'll have to balance all these things together, and you'll have to try to create a, a very balanced um, base. So you can't just focus on one thing, you have to always think fast and try to essentially create a defensive system on the planet that can actually sustain itself relatively well. All right, so let's go uh, place some more buildings on the other side so that we can actually protect other side as well. Uh, there's a house right here that I need to try to protect. And I believe I'm going to just place um, this here. And this will go on the other side. And then we'll place some buildings here just because we want to start building, building up things on this side as well. Okay, we got a message that we have to go and fix some of our buildings because one of the missiles actually did hit them. Uh, so we're going to go and do that right now. They're actually, they're orange on the map right now. So you can go and uh, see if you can fix them. And to fix things, you basically just approach them and then you click repair button. It's that easy. We also got one satellite and we got some food here that we're going to eat. And unfortunately, I'm not actually being too efficient here because I've already lost one of the houses and looks like... One of the missiles might also strike my research center. E oh, maybe not. It actually almost hit. But anyway, let me just show you the research center and we're going to pause this game here afterwards. So th there's the research center. Also has quite a lot of really cool things you can uh, research. And basically, like for example, this will give me more inventory. Some of the research will give me um, better satellites or better radar or better something. And so that's essentially how this game works in a nutshell. There's um, a lot of other um, game elements that I haven't really covered yet, but one of the bigger ones is the endless survival mode, which basically is when you have to try to continuously build up your planet, uh, def creating defenses and defensive systems around the planet while essentially surviving uh, non-stop waves of attacks. Um, now, all in all, this game is actually really cool. It's made by one person. It's very, very fun. And it's definitely super cheap and worth your money. So give it a try. I'm posting the link for this in the description below. Uh, and I honestly think this is probably one of the more original space games that I've encountered in the last few months for sure. Anyway, so that's uh, the satellite repairman. And anyway, so before we finish this video, let's actually try something interesting. Let's actually see if we can go fast enough sideways that we can establish an orbit around our planet. And possibly no, that's not really fast enough. Let's see if we can go a little bit higher, because I do want to see if I can actually establish an orbit, which would be pretty awesome. And look at that, I'm actually in space now. And anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you think about this game and let me know if you have any other recommendations. Thank you so much for watching, please subscribe if you still haven't, and share this video with people that enjoy watching space games, or want to learn more about math, sciences, and space stuff through video games. I'll see you in the next video, game you later, and as always, space out, bye bye. And it looks like you can't establish an orbit here. Oh well, at least I tried.